Hello friend, this is Moin again from Structural Video. Welcome to my next video tutorial of ETAPS 2016 Concrete Structure Analysis and Design Video Tutorial Series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to mesh slab wall and and I'm gonna show you the manual and auto mesh both the option to do go to here select then select object type then floor select close so the, they are selected if you want to do auto mesh then you have to select this way I want to do auto mesh all of this then go to here assign then shell and at the bottom you can see floor auto mesh option so here and I want to do auto mesh so check this auto cookie cut object into structural element then check these two option too and here is 48 inch I usually I do 24 inch which is 2 feet by 2 feet so manually it will mesh 2 feet by 2 feet then apply ok so after doing auto mesh then go to here this link set display option and you can see here other special item then if you check this one shell analysis mesh then apply ok you can see the mesh has been done this way but you can do manual to do manual mesh you have to delete this auto mesh first but i'm just uh, showing you uh, go to here turn off this auto mesh display ok and this is i want to do auto mesh of this slab so select this panel then go to edit then edit shell you can see divide shell and now you can divide a floor by equal angle you have to select this third one divide quadrilateral oblique triangle into 2 by 2 so say I have this is 16 feet by this is more uh, approximately 10 feet so if I divide this to say 5 by 5 or say 8 by 8 then apply okay you can see they are divided into so many equal parts so this way you can divide uh, you can make this uh, manual mesh but i don't recommend to do this manual mesh because if you want to select this panel manually then you have to select all these panels so and also you don't need to do this and for this type trapezoidal shape if it is not wise to do auto mesh so you have to do manual mesh here and if you want to calculate the deflection of this slab then you have to do this way but while you want to calculate deflection then you can manually mesh any panel then you can check but for the whole model i don't recommend to do this way just use auto mesh option so this way you can do mesh of slab then if you want to do mesh of wall then you have to go to here then select this either manually or going to here select object type then wall select close now same way go to here assign shell then you have to go here wall automation option now turn this auto rectangular mesh option and if you go to here advanced public modify show you can see here this is four feet so usually i do two feet this is two feet if you do this is one feet then size is, if the size is less then the result will be more specific but it will take much time to analyze but usually i do two feet uh, there is no problem you can do this is 1.5 feet or 1 feet but it will take time to analyze the model so 2 then ok and apply ok so they are done and if you have any ramp say I am just assigning a slab here this point then this point this point and this point go to assign then shell and wall automation option then if you do this way apply ok you can see it is automation is done so automation for wall and ramp is same so this way you can do automation on your model so if you like this video so do subscribe my channel and thanks for watching my this video see you in the next video